Hello, my name is Troy Dawson. I work for Red Hat. I'm also the founder of Casual Penguins. This is my presentation on how to open source shirts. Okay, the reality is this is my search for the ultimate Hawaiian shirt. The ultimate shirt is different for everyone. For me, I want a loud shirt. I also want flowers on my shirt. For me, I also want penguins on my shirt. And if it's going to be an ultimate Hawaiian shirt, the penguins also have to be wearing Hawaiian shirts. Now the final thing I want is I want the whole shirt to be open sourced. My whole career I've open sourced almost everything I did. So I want these shirts to be open sourced as well. My search for the ultimate Hawaiian shirt is several years old. Several years ago, when I first started towards my ultimate Hawaiian shirt dream, I tried to figure out what open sourcing the shirt would mean. It's a physical product. How do you open source it? So after some thinking, I decided there was three main ways that I could open source it. First is graphics. Second is I could open source the shirt pattern. Now when I say shirt pattern, I'm not meaning the graphics on the fabric. I mean the pattern that determines where you cut the fabric, how you put the shirt together, you know, this pocket goes here, the color is sewn on this way, the sleeve is this long. This is a shirt pattern. Also, the production. I wanted to open source the production on how you do all of these things. Let's start with the graphics. After some investigation, I decided that using SVG graphics would make it possible to open source my graphics. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. So pixel-based graphics, such as a JPEG or a PNG, say this pixel is this color and it goes here, and this pixel is this color and it goes there, and there, and there. Scalable vector graphics say you make a line that starts here and it goes to there and it's this fat and this color. If you look at this shirt here, at this flower, this is really just one line that goes around and it says go in here, go in here, go in here, and make your color orange. put that back. So I looked at this and I realized that SVG graphics are a lot like code. For C++ you take your commands in the code, you compile it, and you get a binary. For vector graphics you take your commands saying where the lines go, you compile it, technically compile it. I usually use Inkscape and you get a binary in the form of a JPEG or a PNG file. So for graphics, can I open source it? Yes, I feel that I can and I have. I have all my graphics licensed under the same license that the SVG of Tux came in, which is the Creative Commons license that is equivalent to a GPL version 2. I currently have all these graphics available on GitHub at the Casual Tux project. For those who want to explore the graphics, I have things divided up into three main groups. I have the parts, and these are things like flowers, leaves, and stems. Then I have the penguins wearing their shirts. And then I have various patterns. The patterns are the combinations of the penguins and the various parts. The patterns aren't all for shirts. They're for whatever I happen to be making at the time. As you can see on the slides, I got this cute uh, penguins in a snowscape. Now, not everything has to be volunteer-based, and I don't have to do everything. Just because it's open source doesn't mean you can't pay for something. Thus far, I've commissioned one fabric design. That would be this one. This was done by a professional graphic artist, and he did a very good job. Let's see it. As much as I like designing, and I have created several like this, this one has always been the most popular with everyone I meet. 
So we've talked about graphics. But what about the shirt design and pattern? I can run down to the store and buy a shirt pattern, like I did for this one, but I can't legally give that away. I could try creating my own shirt pattern. And I did try unsuccessfully. So let's look at the two ways that I found would work. So the first is much like my pattern there, graphical pattern. I could hire professionals to do it for me. And I looked into that. I contacted the firm and we had a discussion about what it would cost for this them to do this for me. That first number looks pretty big, $6,000. That was a little bit more than I wanted to spend. But then I started looking at the breakdown. They would do the designs. They would do prototypes, physical prototypes. They would be grading each size. And you don't do that by just resizing the thing. You have to adjust things. They would be giving me digital and physical patterns. But again, that price tag was more than I wanted to spend. Then I found a place that has open source designs and patterns called freesewing.org. I highly recommend it. They have designs for shirts, jackets, hats, ties, dresses, underwear, lots of things. Most of these designs have variations. For a shirt, I can have white collars, skinny collars, one pocket, many pockets, no pockets. They have four different ways of doing the buttons. It's wonderful. And the sizes, you measure your own body. And the sh and then you put it in, and the shirt, or whatever it is you're doing, is customized just for you. That's awesome. And then you get to download the digital thing and print it out. And wait, print it out. I don't know how many of you have worked with clothes patterns. Patterns don't quite fit on standard printers. So i got to print it out. So I also got to make it and looked like I got my shoulder measurement off a little bit. I can't even get my arms in the shirt. Simple enough, go back online, change the setting for the arm, download the graphic and print it again and remake the shirt. Oh, but now the color doesn't look right. But that's fine, I just have to resize it and print it and make it again. And that's just for one size, just for a guy. I didn't even try the, the girl or different sizes. Hmm, what do you know? $6,000 doesn't sound too bad after all. I still don't have that much, but at least I know what to budget for. My plan is to commission a design and a pattern and then open source that design and pattern. Now let's move on to open source production. I started to think about how I would do that. And after a bit of thinking, I realized there is no way or need to open source it. Think about when you compile Emacs. Does it matter if you compile it by the command line or do an, an RPM build? Does it matter if you do it in your home directory or some temp directory in opt? Does it matter if your CPU is an I, Intel i7 or i3? No. Does any of that need to be open source? No. You start with source code, you compile it, you end up with Emacs the binary. The same goes for a shirt. You start with a pattern. Does it matter if I use scissors or a rolling cutter? No. Does it matter if I set it up and build it in my office or in my neighbor's house? No. Does it matter what brand of sewing machine I have? As long as it has the proper functions. No. So maybe to others listening to this, this was obvious from the start. But for me, it took some figuring out. And if you've never thought of it, now you know. So there was one other major question. I didn't think about this at the first, but it was brought up to me many times. What if someone takes my graphics, or takes my shirt design, 
creates their own shirts. And they start selling them. Well, good for them. And I say that sincerely. I really do mean good for them. From the beginning, I have mentally prepared myself for someone to use my graphics for their own commercial being. It did take a little bit of a mind shift. I would hope that they would send me a note or even a shirt, but I've been prepared to look on Amazon, see my shirt for sale, and go, oh well, good for them. I've also been doing each step as I have the money to do so. I've not quit my job at Red Hat. I do not plan on quitting my job unless this grows so big that I have to make a choice. But each step I make, I make sure I can afford it. Now, speaking of steps, this is my next one. I would like to say they planned on creating a business around these penguin pillows, but I didn't. I made one and it was so cute and so cuddly. Oh, come here. Oh, they're so cuddly. <laughs> that friends and relatives wanted some. And the business has just sort of grown around their cuteness. And just like the shirts, I'm trying to make everything open source. The graphics are on my casual tux GitHub page. Anyone can grab the graphic and print it on some fabric and make their own penguin pillow. The graphic even has a line to cut on. Anybody can buy the fabric directly from where I buy the fabric. I have things set up in Spoonflower to buy fabric of different sized penguins. I do get a 10% commission on any fabric sold, so that's nice. And finally, I have an Etsy shop set up that people can either buy the fabric that I've already printed or pre-made penguin pillows. So people can choose how much effort they want to put in versus how much money they want to spend. But this talk is not about making penguin pillows. It is about making the ultimate Hawaiian shirt and open sourcing it. And that's where that comes in. Every, all the profit that I make goes towards making that next step for me, which is, as I said earlier, the design and, and pattern. So, let's sum up. What does it take to open source a shirt? You need to open source your graphics. My preference is a scalar vector graphics, SVGs. You need to open source your shirt design and patterns. This is my next step. I haven't done that yet. You don't need to open source your production. And you do need to mentally prepare yourself as well as financially for the realities that come with open source. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this was helpful or at least interesting. Take care.